you know, what are we here for if not um, to be a little sad? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, it is Tuesday, which means we're making some art. We got some wheels, we got some stuff to do. It's gonna be good. Today, friends, we are going to be making creatures made up of stuff. And to do that, we're gonna need your help. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna need your help to suggest some creatures and some things you can make them up. Now, creatures is pretty simple. I went generic, uh, but material is a bit more random. So I, I put slime, mushroom, and jet engines. Um, which is sort of meant to show you how far we can actually go with this. All right, our first material coming in here. There are a lot of these that I don't like from a drawing perspective. And I love from a wood planks. This is like the nicest of the prompts, I think. Looks like we're getting a bat made from wood planks. A baseball bat. Hey, oh, Joe coming in with the good jokes. That's the foundation of a bat. So we're gonna start with very basic wood plank foundation. And I think the most basic foundation we can get, just like a couple planks of wood, that'll give us the start. Build our own Groot. <laughs> yeah, it's the new exciting option from the people who brought you Build-A-Bear, Build-A-Groot. I think hinges is a nice, like, call. We're gonna put that into like wooden doweling. I want something in the way of, this is gonna look real bad, but just straight up plywood wings. Gonna nail those together, very firmly held together bat wings. Very sensible. Um, all right, so we're gonna make two, you know like salad bowls that are made of wood? Not quite a plank, but I'm going to put two salad bowls on top of each other. I think carpenter nails would do good for the eyes, like a nice, like, are they the flathead ones? For ears, what, what's, what's wooden that makes sort of that ear shape? Bowls is one idea, but we already have bowls. We also need legs somehow, I can, and we can make the legs literally just crutches. Canoe paddles. Ooh, that's a great idea. Oh, was that for ears or for um, legs? Because either way, I think we got a bat here. There we go. We've got a bat of sorts. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the best or the worst part of it, that this, their wings are just plywood boards. It both makes me incredibly happy and <laughs> it's a little sad. You know, what are we here for if not um, to be a little sad? Ooh. <laughs> How do we feel about uh, Sticky Mouse? Uh, if there are any more materials that we'd like to add to our wheel here today, uh, I invite you to suggest them now. We have a lot of stuff on here. Water balloons, oh my goodness. Adasaurus rocks, it's a great suggestion. It's great in the sense that it seems tough for me <laughs> to draw. But, all right, fingers crossed that we get something plausible. 
spider. Spin that spider. Spider is a real rough one because I got to do at least eight legs. And spider made of um, something plausible. Are we gonna get water balloons for the first try? <laughs> okay. This is doable. This is doable. I, I, I'm not saying it's impossible. I don't want to look up spiders. This is the real kicker. Spider. I've got ideas for how this might work. The word suckers got you held. All right, look, spider made from water balloons. We can do this. I've got some, some ideas. So first of all, we can start with like a big old water balloon body, right? Yeah, and now what makes it a water balloon is that it's not solid. A Little bit of give to it, right? And that's got a little tag coming out here for the mouth. Because again, we're not drawing a spider for the legs. So we could do like, um, I didn't know this was a spider. You think that was a butthole? Is that what you're saying? We can say butthole. We're all friends here. We use long balloons folded make our leg. She blubs, she blubs. Oh baby, yes yeah, she moves, she moves. In truth, it's gonna be a very charming creature. These eyes are just nubbins as well. Increasingly smaller water balloons on top of bigger water balloons. For now, he's just about finished. I'm just thicking up these lines because I like thick lines right now in my art styles. There we go. A water balloon spider. Adorable and terrifying. Like most of nature. It's actually quite a cute face, I think. Four, three, two, one, let's spin. And we hope for the best. Oh man. How different is a wombat to a bat? Just for clarity's sake. All right, we can do a digital wombat. Sort of like an LED wombat. Perfect. We'll try it. Sort of looked like a groundhog mixed with like a beaver. Wombats are incredibly adorable. Now to make something of digital, I feel like we need to like go into the matrix a little bit, right? Tron, Tron's a pretty good reference point. Uh, Tron is closer. <laughs> Tron looks so stupid. <laughs> Every Tron picture is hilarious, but this is this is the right idea. All right, so let's start with a wombat. We might actually be able to get this creature to look nice in this one.
someday in the not too distant future, we'll have these on our desk as like digital companions. And it'll just run and jump, and do all the fun things in its little aquatic light zone. Digital Wombat coming at us strong in the category of fun, cute art. We've been having fun spinning some wheels. We got creatures, we got stuff. Here we go. What's our last creature for today gonna be? Did we go full? We want deer. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ooh, yarn knitted pattern. So we're gonna be making an emergery kind of looking deer, which shouldn't be too bad, except for the challenges of making knitted wool. We'll just write for simplicity's sake. This is like gonna be like um, Yoshi's Woolly World. But for deers. Bambi the deer, the Bambi's Woolly World. All right, let's get some shapes on here for our deer. Sort of a deer. Yeah, I wanna just refine this a little bit. I mean, that's a deer to some extent. Okay, now we gotta th start thinking a little bit about wool. And I think we're just gonna go straight to the technical pen. Cause I think drawing it in sketch and then Redrawing it is going to kill me. Like a crayon y kind of vibe. I think this will work. Emphasize the shapes ourselves. This sort of pulls it all out. Thank you. It's fun. Uh, the thing I love about Amiguris is just like you're just sort of building on top of shapes and putting shapes together. So it's like, it's much simpler than other things. You can grab some like excess darkness. Really emphasize the uh, shadows coming through here. Now I'm just sort of lost in my own art. Time for us to get ready to wrap up here. Friends, thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a good time. But either way, thanks so much for being here. Let's check out what we did. We had fun. We mashed animals up with materials and came up with our own unique and wonderful designs. We made a deer made of wool, a wombat out of light and digital things. We made a spider out of water balloons. And of course we made a bat out of wood. Delightful, friends. I can't believe we did it. It was super fun. 
we will see you. Bye, friends.